What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode today. I'm here in the greenhouse, and I want to discuss a greenhouse versus an indoor grow rack. I've grown in both contexts, and they both have their pros and cons, and so let's jump into it. So let's first talk about growing in a greenhouse. We just switched to growing in a greenhouse from an indoor grow rack setup. And I think some of the pros to a greenhouse are for when you get a lot more space. We built these racks with pallets, and so we've got space for a ton of seedlings. I'm able to start my seeds in here. We've got our germination chamber in here. So it's a big spacious place for you to start your seeds and to grow lots of starts. We also could, if we wanted to, put some pots in here and grow some tomatoes if we wanted to. So to me, a greenhouse has tons of pros. Now, I think a couple of cons to a greenhouse are in the winter time, you're gonna have to heat this in some way or in the shoulder seasons in the spring or in the fall. For instance, coming up here soon, we've got some temperatures that are gonna get down to about 25 degrees. And either I'm gonna have to pull these seedlings inside or we're gonna have to find a way to heat this greenhouse. So that's an added expense. And I think obviously another con is a greenhouse can be fairly expensive depending upon the size. So the other pro to a greenhouse is it gets the whole seed starting operation out of your house. And I think for some people it works, but my wife hates me starting seeds in the house personally. And it's messy and it takes up space. A grow rack's ugly. Um, and so the other thing I do like about growing in a greenhouse like this is it's already kind of getting exposed to a fluctuation of temperatures. So I think that the plants that you're starting in a greenhouse, as they experience some cold and warm weather, they're going to perform better and do well in the field, in my opinion. Now, we built this from a farmer's friend tunnel. It's a 25 foot by 16 foot tunnel, and it works really great so far. But again, you've got to think about ventilation and heating. So in the summertime, we are going to mount some fans up here for added ventilation. But the biggest key with a greenhouse, especially in the summertime, is you need good ventilation. You need lots of fans. And obviously in the wintertime, if you're growing in the wintertime, you're gonna need some way to heat this greenhouse, which you can do with propane. But again, it all comes down to money. How much do you have? How much do you wanna spend? Okay, so now that we've talked about the greenhouse, let's go inside and I'm gonna show you our grow rack and we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of that. Okay, so here we are inside next to our indoor grow rack. Got a really good looking pepper plant here. And I think some of the pros to an indoor grow rack is that it's pretty inexpensive. And that's why a lot of people start with this type of setup. And we have done this for years. We've been gardening, homesteading for nearly five years from now. And this is something that works fantastic, y'all. And I think on a, you know, if you're just a backyard gardener, very small scale, this system works fantastic. Um, I think a lot of the pros to it are for one, it's inexpensive. You can buy one of these racks and some of these cheap Amazon grow lights, which if you want to buy some grow lights, I've got a link down below a whole Amazon storefront of products I actually use, not just random crap. But you can click that link and you can get these grow lights. Um, so that is the biggest pro I think is it's cheap and expensive to start seedlings. The other pro to this is you have a constant temperature Generally, your house is going to be anywhere around 70 degrees. Most people keep it at or below that. So you've got a really, really controlled environment temperature-wise with an indoor grow rack versus a greenhouse. Um, and this is a lot cheaper. Some of the cons to this grow rack setup are for one space. Um, you eventually will run out of space and this thing can get packed full. Like I've just got tomatoes and peppers in here because it is warmer and you can see it's pretty full already. So that's been my biggest complaint about a grow rack and that's the reason we moved towards in a, uh, a greenhouse. But the great part is temperature control. You do wanna make sure you keep some air circulation going on in this room wherever you're growing it because you can get mold on the surface of the soil, especially if you're over watering. Um, the other con is it is messy and it's ugly. Um, so make sure your spouse is okay with you putting this in one of the uh, the bedrooms or wherever you plan on putting it. I really love this setup. The reason we went and ultimately went towards a greenhouse is because we run a, a farmstead. We run a market garden here and we need just more space for seedlings. This just isn't going to cut it. And I didn't want to buy five more racks and fill this bedroom up with starts. However, again, 
that is an option and a lot of farmers do that a lot of backyard gardeners do it like this for us we wanted a greenhouse and i wanted to get the whole seed starting operation out of a bedroom and out of a garage but that's kind of my take on a greenhouse versus an indoor grow rack they both have amazing pros and some cons um, and it just comes down to what's your context what's going to be best for you with your budget and how many seeds you're going to be starting so if you found this content helpful y'all make sure to hit that like button it really helps these videos perform in the algorithm and if you want to see more content like this hit that subscribe button we'll see you on the next one